today I'm going to be showing you step by step how I created this look inspired by Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Let me know what you're going to be for Halloween in the comments below and let's get started. For the base of this look, I'm using the Mayron Paradise Body Paint in the shade Light Blue. This is actually my first time working with body paint and there was a little bit of a learning curve to it. You activate this powder product with water and it becomes a cream. And you do get a little bit of picking up the color if you are using too much. So I recommend letting it dry totally between different layers and using a patting motion and not a rubbing motion. Now the catch with this is is you cannot layer cream-based products on top of it. And if you watch my videos, you know I use a lot of cream-based products, so I had to use all powder products with this look because it does separate and lift the body paint when you use a cream-based color on top of it. I covered my eyebrows because I wanted to draw on some new eyebrows without doing a full eyebrow cover-up, and it actually worked really well. I wanted to give Sally big eyes, so I used a white cream-based eyeshadow to create a wider-looking eye by drawing at the bottom of my bottom lash line underneath it to give that more of an open look, kind of the same concept as lining your waterline with white eyeliner. I'm just using a white eyeshadow to do the same beyond my lash line to create an illusion of a larger eye. Next, I'm going in with my James Charles palette in the shade Cola to create a beautiful blue smoky eye half cut crease. So this is a deep blue shade. I'm just going in with a really tapered blending brush to create the crease, and I'm going a little bit above where I normally would. I'm also using a smaller detail brush to blend that out on the bottom lash line. Next, to add more dimension, I'm using the shade Spooky from the same palette. I'm just using this in the outer corner and then right in the crease and of course on the bottom lash line as well. Then I'm going to blend, blend, blend before we carve out the crease. To carve out the crease, I'm using a white cream eyeshadow, the same one I used to create that bottom lash line. And I'm just using my Morphe M124 brush to get a really precise line here. And I'm going to go back in with the same brush I used to do the crease to blend them together and give them a really pretty gradient look. The half cut crease is one of my favorites to do. Since I have hooded eyes, it really opens up my eye area and gives them the illusion that they're much bigger than they are. This technique takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, it's really easy. The most important part is remembering to blend that new lighter area in with your crease already so it has that gradient effect. Next, I'm gonna be using a red-based brown cream shadow to create these brows. And I wanted to play off of that Tim Burton kind of concerned brow look, so I made Sally's brows go in a little bit and up in the center to give the illusion of a furrowed brow. I just based the shape off of my normal eyebrows and created the upper part in the middle and gave them a little bit more of an arch. I did make a few mistakes on this part, but I was able to go back in with the blue body paint to kind of correct it. Since I'm going to be doing pretty bold lashes with this look, I decided to give Sally a winged liner with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is one of my favorite black liners because it is super sharp and easy to use. I like to use felt tip liners to create a wing because you can let the felt tip do the work for you and just draw it in towards your lash line. I'm also using the very tip of that liner to outline the bottom lash line. This part made me so nervous, but I think it ended up looking pretty good. This will help with the illusion of making the eyes look bigger. Now I'm using duo lash glue to throw on some individual lashes on the bottom lash line. These are actually just some spare lashes I had that I cut up into individual pieces, but you can always buy the individual wispies at the drugstore as well. Either one will work. This part was so tedious, but definitely worth it. I love the effect it created. I'm also using duo lash glue on the top lashes because I really want a strong, strong hold with these super heavy lashes. I will take any excuse I can get to wear a super bold lash. Now it's time to do some shaping on the face. I used Cola from the James Charles palette again with a Morphe M433. This is a brush I love because it's so versatile. Basically, I'm just shaping the edges of my cheekbones, making them look pretty sharp and snatched, and going down a little bit, kind of like you would in a skull look. This creates that hollow, sunken effect. I'm also making the nose a little bit pointier. Luckily, I already have a pretty pointy nose, so I'm just exaggerating that. 
and I'm placing some shadow on the sides of the nose to contour as well. I also threw the same shadow on my jawline to make it more snatched and exaggerated. I wanted to use a blinding highlighter, so I used the Nikki Tutorials collab with Ofra Beauty in the lightest shade in this trio, and I put it on the tip of my nose, of course on my cheekbones, and also down the bridge of my nose. Now it's time for the details. This is the part I was most nervous about. I opted for a Sigma detail brush. I also opted for a detail brush I got from Sally's. It's actually for nail art. It's super, super tiny and I can't find it anymore. So if you guys have any recommendations on super tiny brushes, let me know. But that's what I use for the stitches so that I could get them really fine and little and super detailed. This part was definitely the most challenging and what I probably spent the most time on. I wanted to make them even more detailed looking, so I used a white cream shadow, the same one I used on my eyes, on top of it so that it had kind of a 3D look. And this part took a lot of time too, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I did the stitches on my forehead off camera, but I also added the white highlight to those as well. I want you guys to let me know in the comments how long you think this look took me. Now it's time for the lips. I actually ended up layering two different red shades shades because I wanted to give it a deeper more kind of burnt red shade rather than the super bright red like some people have done for this look so first I put on my favorite lipstick in the shade Broadway bronze and then I layered on the shade blue red all right guys time to throw on my contacts and my wig and here is the final look I am obsessed with how this turned out let me know what you guys think of the final look in the comments there will be links below to all the products I use I've been having so much fun creating these Halloween looks, so let me know what you're hoping to see on my channel next. As always, you can click my face below to subscribe to my channel and click the videos to the right to keep watching my videos. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.